the Saudi Twitter account has posted a message that apparently threatens Canada with a repeat of the 9-11 attacks. Saudi Arabia is angry at Ottawa's demand for the release of jailed activists in the Arab Kingdom. The Saudi tweet warned Canada against interfering in issues not related to the Western country. The account that had posted the tweet quickly removed it and made an apology. The Saudis have already expelled Canada's envoy. Riyadh has also recalled its ambassador to Ottawa. Canada says that it will not be intimidated into silence when it comes to human rights. Scott Bennett, former U.S. Army Psychological Warfare Officer, joins us from San Francisco. It, it just looks like there's something more to the story because the uh, reaction by Saudi Arabia just seems so severe. Well, you're exactly right. Your instincts are accurate. Saudi Arabia is terrified of falling apart and having an internal coup d'etat, and the way to do it is through internal domestic uprisings. People in Saudi Arabia who become aware of the uh, horrific crimes and abuses that the Saudi uh, King Abdullah bin Salman and his cohorts have been uh, doing to the good people of Saudi Arabia. They're the only ones who can overthrow this tyrannical terrorist regime that is financed by the United States and Israel. And I think that's precisely why the Saudis are reacting this way. And to threaten a 9-11 style attack, well, that's, you know, that the leopard doesn't change its spots. The Saudi Arabians and the Israelis planned and operated and coordinated the September 11th attack in 2001 uh, in concert with George W. Bush and Dick Cheney is a, a, the greatest crime against civilization. And uh, it's, it's simply uh, regurgitating that nonsense. But the American people in the world should take very uh, careful uh, analysis of this and see two things. Number one, that Saudi is admitting to a 9-11 attack in, in uh, partnership with Israel and the United States, and that should be investigated as a war crime uh, it, that happened 18 years ago and is still ongoing. And number two, it should show us the fragility and the insanity and the schizophrenic nervousness of Saudi Arabia's ruling regimes to react with this way. Iran is interestingly enough in a great position to provide the exonerating 9-11 evidence in New York to say this whole attack that Saudi Arabia was involved with, that has been an assault on the world, was completely false. And here's all of the evidence from all of the scholars and analysts who know everything about 9-11, who've recently submitted a memo to the president about it. Let's bring them in and testify on behalf of Iran. We're happy to do so. And it would be the greatest revelation of truth in the world. You know, there was a reaction that uh, maybe we can bring into this uh, analogy here, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was when the Saudis actually threatened the U.S. when it came to that uh, uh, court case uh, in which uh, the Saudis said, you uh, take us to court, we're going to pull our uh, investments out of the U.S. Um, can that analogy be drawn here? Well, yeah, that's a typical bluff. That's a typical threat. It's a, a nervous, uh, almost effeminate reaction of the Saudi Arabians. They're like children. They're like screaming tantrum toddler children that have had their lollipops taken away from them. That's what the Saudis are. And of course, uh, they're also a collection of the greatest war criminals because of their their genocide, their biological warfare they've been launching against uh, Yemen, uh, the war that they've been launching against uh, Libya in concert with the Obama administration and, and uh, Hillary Clinton, which is one of the reasons that Donald Trump uh, despises everything Obama did, and that's one of the reasons that he's very nervous about the JCPOA, and he needs to be healed of that nervousness with the truth. And it's also another indication of what the Saudi Arabians have been doing against Syria. And thankfully, Iran and Russia have joined together and defeated the Saudi ambitions in Syria and Israel's. And isn't it comical that Israel is running like a dog with its tail between its legs, now pleading that Bashar Assad in Syria uh, is good for Israel, that the stabilization they can live with. No, they're losing. And when you're losing, that's when they need to be attacked all the more. So there needs to be a massive information campaign that exposes the Saudi hypocrisy, that exposes the internal domestic disintegration of Saudi Arabia, as well as Israel, Netanyahu's war crimes, Netanyahu's trial and persecution and his corruptions uh, that his son was involved with, uh, Bashar Assad, Russia, Iran, China. I think they all need to be appealing to needs for a paradigm shift in the political power, and Saudi Arabia is the first to go, and then Thank Israel. Thank you for that, Scott Bennett. We appreciate it.